Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a little bit different video than normal. Um, every year, the way my scholarship works, I get a refund check um, and what I'll do is I'll pay off my living expenses for the semester and then I'll put some in savings and then I'll take what's left and buy a sort of investment piece, whether it be like a bag or jewelry or, you know, something that will hold its value but also be really pretty and fun. So last semester, you probably saw this on my Instagram if you follow me there, but I bought a pair of Chanel earrings and here's the little dust bag that came in there. Just thought I'd show you because they are so pretty. But they're like these little crystal... They're from one of the cruise collections and I can't remember what year off the top of my head. I think it's 2012 but I'm not positive. Anyway, I had to look really hard to get these because they were no longer being sold um, at that time, but I did find a pair and I got them for a really great price on Poshmark actually. Um, so yeah, that was last semester's. Uh, this semester I bought my very first grown-up watch. So I bought the Cartier Tank Francois I'm not really, I'm not really uh, the greatest on pronunciation, so don't judge. But anyway, I thought it would be fun since I just got it in the mail yesterday and applaud my self-control for not opening it yet because I thought it would be fun to open it on camera with you guys. So without further ado, this is the box that came in. Not super exciting, but let's open it up. By the way, I actually bought it pre-loved from a place called Yugi's Closet. Uh, everything that you buy on there is professionally authenticated before they ship it out to you. So I'm really big on bargain hunting and shopping like consignment stores, but making sure that what you're getting is actually what you're paying for because one of my very first ever experiences trying to buy um, a designer bag I got sent a fake and then ever since then I've been like super 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 like into doing so much research beforehand making sure the company that you buy it from is actually reliable making sure that you know what it should look like and how to sort of authenticate things for yourself just to make sure um, so yeah if you're gonna buy things pre-loved it takes a lot of research and effort to make sure what you're getting is actually what you pay for but after that experience because I, that made me realize the sort of work that I needed to do and after that I have not had any issues um, I only buy from trustworthy sellers and um, yeah so basically it is a great market out there for pre-owned stuff but make sure you're being careful <laughs> anyway let's open up the box so I have a little envelope in here which is just information about the order I'm assuming. well I, they also gave me some coupons I have $50 off and yeah, that's pretty much the only exciting thing out of there um, and then I'm going to now remove this and here we go this bag. Um, I'll start with what looks to be the least fun first. So here is the Cartier box. It's folded flat for shipping purposes, but this is the actual box that the watch came in. Also, a tip when you're buying pre-owned items is um, making sure that they have like paperwork or receipts or boxes because those are usually pretty good shows of authenticity. And then when you open this up, there's the little Cartier booklet. And inside there's the extra links. 
and this little red thing. I'm not exactly sure what this is. To be honest, I honestly don't know much about watches, so. Um, oh, I think this is just a little tag that came with it, so. On the back, it says, like, waterproof or water resistant up to 98 feet, so. It's just, I think that's just a little tag that came on the watch. And then we have the UV's closet, like their certificate of authenticity. And then we have the little, the paperwork from Cartier. So I do not know French, so I don't know what some of this stuff says. Uh, this uh, represents agree. Uh, I think this is just information about Cartier. And then this is the certificate um, of the warranty and authenticity. So, yeah, basically, if you're going to buy, like, a pre-owned expensive watch like this, I would definitely make sure it comes with that certificate of authenticity. And then this is just a, um, I think it's like a, a manual, like an owner's manual for the actual watch. So it has Montres Tank, tank Francis. I don't know. Like I said, don't judge. Um, and so I will definitely be using this because like I said, I don't really know a lot about watches. So that should help me figure things out. So that was the fun stuff in the booklet. Now on to the best part, the actual watch. So it came in this little Yugi's closet pouch. So I'll just untie it. Ugh, they put another layer in. Just building anticipation. All right, so this is a little dust bag. And here we are. Here is my new watch. I got the two-toned, so it would be, there's some gold and the silver there. So that way I could wear it with more and just so it's versatile because I plan on this being like an everyday watch so I'm not sure if this will actually fit me because I'll probably have to get the additional links put in since I have a bigger wrist but let's see so I don't know if I can figure out how to open this let's see okay so I finally got it that was a challenge but now I'll go ahead and put it on so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so I probably will get another link put in because although it fits, it's very as you can see like I could not put it up farther on my wrist and I like it my watch is to be able to rest like right here so they don't get like knocked with my hand when I move it but anyway you can sort of see I think it's a very nice classic looking watch I think it's a great size and the reason why I bought the tank I was debating between the tank and the ball and blue and I bought the tank because it is a more classic design like the Ballon Blue, don't get me wrong, is gorgeous and it's trendy and I absolutely love it but it's also like a tank is just so iconic to Cartier and I wanted something that was very iconic and um, I figured like eventually maybe you know in 10-15 years I could go back and buy a Ballon Blue but until then, I just wanted to stick, since this is like my very first grown-up watch purchase, I didn't want to get something that was like more trendy and like might go out of style someday. Not that I think the Ballon Blue will, because I think for a round face watch, it is very, very classic. But I don't know, I just felt like the tank was a safer bet, since it's been around longer and it's just so iconic. Um, the other reason why I chose the tank is because it sort of looks like a bracelet almost with the way that the face sort of like blends narrowly into the band. So I thought that it would be a lot easier to um, 
stack different bracelets on there. Although I am going to be very careful about putting bracelets on there because I don't want to scratch up my watch. But um, it looks more like a bracelet on its own too. It's not super like, you know, showy. It's just very iconic, classic, and I, I'm more into timeless things that aren't going to go out of style, especially if I'm spending that much money on it, because yeah, I got this pre-loved, and it's in amazing condition, but it's also, it's also very expensive, and I really, I would not want to spend that much money on something and then just have it go out of style or fall out of love with it, you know? So this is definitely a watch that I'm planning to keep for a very long time. And so I'm really happy with my choice and I'm glad that you guys got to open it up with me and hopefully you like it too. And let me know if you guys want me to like do a review on it, maybe after I've had it for a year or so, um, so I can tell you if I think it was worth it because like I said, even pre-owned, it was a lot of money but I think it'll be a worthwhile investment because I don't think that these will lose their value. Anyway, well, thank you again for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks again.